Good afternoon, everybody. I got a busy day today. Uh, in about an hour, this video obviously might be out just before it. Uh, doing an AMA with uh, Bill from uh, Flex IRA, so looking very forward to having a one-on-one -on -one with him and having a chat with him and giving you guys some some input on what's going on with that one uh, for today. And as you'll see, my thumbnail is quite vibrant and big and red and warning. Um, a lot of people have said they still want to get into uh, D-Gen plays. I'm not necessarily a huge fan of them, uh, but that said, there are opportunities out there that if everyone comes in it together, there is a good chance many could come out winning, but uh, many of them uh, have Ponzi nomics to them. So I do not, and I've kind of been torn with that idea whether I want to talk about projects that include Ponzi nomics and stuff, and then I realized, well, the US dollar is a Ponzi-based system. Um, everything in this world is a Ponzi-based system. Uh, unfortunately, you're using uh, new money to pay out old money. It's, it's pretty much how most of life is. That's not to say that I think that these are things that you should take lightly. Uh, these should be treated uh, as games or whatever, uh, which obviously this one very, very blatantly does, and this is some of the reasons why I'm, I'm going ahead and speaking about this one is uh, they are experiments, they are games, they are uh, plays on marketing ability and uh, social network ability uh, or, or um, reach. They are plays on uh, not being the last man in. Uh, so all these kind of things, and this kind of is the way life is. So you need to manage these pro types of projects with your best Bag, knowing that it's risk capital only, using very small portions of it. Uh, I will go through a couple of things that I like about this project uh, and what uh, this experiment, I guess, a social experiment, and why I think there's some value to, to what's going to come out of information-wise from this. Uh, I am excited to see how it plays out. Uh, and I will uh, have all of these details in my uh, Discord. Um, the way I'm doing these projects that have this specific thumbnail, which will be very simple, I'll just be updating the project name and the logo, keeping everything else the same to make it very identifiable, is you will not be able to get the links from these in the YouTube um, uh, description. They will only be inside my Discord, inside the DeFi section, which you specifically have to have a role to get into. Uh, again, just trying to make sure that everybody's protected. If you do want to know this stuff, then you're coming into this spot where we will talk about it openly without prejudice or judgment, and you will be able to create hopefully a plan with us together on how we want to use these projects if we are going to do it. And I do say use because realistically we need to play the game um, just as well as everybody else is and make sure that if we're doing it together, as opposed to not just being a YouTuber and everybody else, um, we can help each other all win more effectively. This one does, um, like all of them, give a little bit of favoritism to the YouTuber, in my opinion, which is what I dislike about it. Uh, but other than that, it's got a lot of things going for it uh, in, in a different sense, which is kind of um, interesting to see. As I said, right off the bat, it's a social experiment and a game. I like that they're being very open and transparent about this. You'll see this in every, pretty much every video that they've talked about even when you go through the story um, with um, the gener degenerate um, YouTuber. Um, and so a couple of things, uh, over to the white paper quickly, um, well laid out, goes through everything. It's very detail oriented, very math based. You have pools where most of the money will go, which is the ones that are in, uh, inputting the most of the money, and then the smaller pools uh, that are a little different. Uh, and this is very important to notice is you earn uh, a potentially larger X if you are in the bigger levels with the most money, which does kind of make sense as much as it's is what it is. So if you invest thirty three thousand fifty dollars, uh, you can four X your money up to twelve thousand two hundred. If you put in one hundred, you can two X your money up to two hundred. Uh, is kind of the max earning before that before you have to re input money uh, and stuff. The other big thing to this one is you do need to refer three people and have them come in under you in order to two X your money, and then the other stuff can happen through other chance and different things inside the protocol. Um, and other than that, uh, random lottery pool. So there's lots of little different things and nuances that they've kind of put in there to make sure the funds get shared around. Obviously, most of the funds are going towards, and I'm sure they have it in here somewhere. Um, and I'd, I'd suggest having a look. I do know the number, but I'm not, I don't want to quote it, not remembering it 100% of my, uh, but like, 20 or 30 percent or something like that is going towards um, the dev wallets, that kind of stuff, which I presume might be in here. And with those funds, um, yeah, dev pool. Oh, it's going through numbers. Yeah, 30%, sorry, goes to the dev pool. And then it gets split up between the different pools so that the ones that have the larger investment 
to the smaller amount, and then a random lottery where one in every four people get back their initial, um, and then 8% goes into this trading account revenue stream. Um, so there is some revenue stream, but I believe it's used more as a Hail Mary kind of thing just to kind of feed funds back in there to help hopefully pay people back. Um, this 30%, the one little thing that it, it's odd is they've got it separated into like 12 wallets or something crazy like that. Um, supposedly the dev is not divulging where these wallets are going, um, whatever. Obviously people can check it on the, on the um, blockchain. Uh, this is a choice you're making, right? And this is what I hate about some of these projects or the people that get into some of these projects. They get in without really researching it. Then when something goes wrong, they blame all the things that was right in front of them as what was wrong with it and demand and demand. Um, so you need to know right now, if you're getting into this, 30% of your money is going towards the dev pool, mon uh, marketing and fees. And that's it, that's all. It, it, it's got 12 wallets. You can argue those wallets all you want. That's how they've set this up. It's very transparent. They've said they're setting it up that way. Do I wish I they knew more details about all that? Yeah, that'd be great to know where it all goes and how it's all set up and less cloak and dagger around that side of the project. But it is what it is. This is what they're telling us. They've given us that information. Now you make a decision whether you'd like in or not. Um, so, and then and then this goes into more detail on how that's all separated and how how this, these funds are all moved around. Um, other than that, the big thing here is if you do decide you want to get into it, like I said, come by the Discord, uh, request the, the DGEN role. I'll maybe set it up later on that it's just a, a role request that you can do. But for now, you open a ticket and request the role, and I'll get it to you. And then I'll give you access to uh, the Telegram, the website, all that jazz uh, in order to come on in here and take a look. Um, we'll take a little look at the DAP. They did want us to kind of show uh, in here. So if Connect Wallet, I've got a MetaMask, and we will connect, connect. Um, so USDT on the Binance Smart Chain, and then again, you're going to choose which one you want to go into, and then you'll be able to deposit. So we got 21 hours left before this launches. By the time this video comes out, let's say maybe uh, 20 hours or, well, 22 right now, but maybe 21 at the end of this. Um, and then invite for three people. So it's it's got everything right here. Um, initial deposit, it gives you your payouts, your week payout, your referral, your lottery. So it tells you everything here. As you earn back your 4X, I believe you're taken out of the tree and other people move in, um, which is good to help get everybody paid back. Um, again, though, it's going to be the last ones in that don't win. Um, so you do if they if this stops. The idea to this too, and the other thing that I didn't really get into uh, yet, and I apologize, is this contract will be fully renounced, meaning that there is no way for this contract to be changed by devs, by anybody. Um, so this is one of their claims to fame is once it launches they will prove that it's been renounced that will show that everything is now out of anybody's hands nobody can edit it nobody can manipulate it nobody can hack it nothing um, so that is definitely one good thing about this um, and and yeah so uh, goods and bads I, I mean obviously there's a risk here but the risk is very transparent it's really like a lottery if you will is probably the best way to look at it uh, where your odds are a little bit more in your favor in the sense that you have power to manipulate how much money you could make in this um, in the sense of seeking out three people in a chat um, like I said one of the things that we will probably do inside my community is if we decide to go on and get into this we'll set up three different pools each person will have a leader that will manage that pool based on which one they're getting into most likely uh, and the idea would be that um, you'd rotate through that. So let's say I was top or vault -Tech in my case, because I would be going in under vault -Tech, for instance, to try and generate some income for us. And we'd be the top dog right off the bat, unlike a YouTuber who's only benefiting himself uh, by being the top dog. We're going to use vault -Tech if we choose to do this. And then vault -Tech will win at least out of the gate and be ROI'd itself for sure. And then everybody else can continue to play the game the way they'd like. We would then... Um, rotate through. So as vault -Tech got their, if they went into the big one and got their 4X, they could then go back in to help other people get back by putting another contribution in. They're helping everybody else ROI a little faster. And then again, maybe if we make two rounds of it kind of thing, we can help each other back again. Uh, hopefully that all makes sense. Uh, as I said, I, I do, I am curious. Uh, this one is far more unique than pretty much anything we've seen in the space for a while. Uh, it doesn't, uh, it holds no bars. Uh, some people will say, oh, you're promoting a pun. Ponzi. Um, it's not a problem promoting a Ponzi. It's a problem promoting a Ponzi scheme. Uh, technically, if you promote a bank and say this bank is good, you're promoting a Ponzi. Um, if, if you walk around the street and, and talk about some favorite brand you have, you're promoting a Ponzi. Uh, life is full of them. Uh, what you don't want to be doing is promoting a Ponzi scheme where they're saying everything is good and you know that it's not and you're telling people about something that you know is uh 
hiding itself and masking itself as something real, earning real revenues and all that jazz. Uh, and really, it's just a Ponzi. Uh, that's a Ponzi scheme. That is not allowed. Um, so that's about it. Let me know. I'd really love to know in the comments below what you guys think about doing content like this and having that big red banner and having it kind of cordial off in my Discord. Uh, if you enjoy these kind of plays and like to play around with them with 1% or 5% of your portfolio kind of thing um, and kind of see how it can work for you, uh, then let me know. I'd love to hear it in the comments. Also come by the Discord and say hi and let me know what you think about all this. And um, we'll, we'll possibly do more of these plays, possibly won't. Uh, it's really up to you guys how we want to go about this. I do appreciate all of you um, and I do appreciate the growth the channel is hopefully going to start experiencing again because we definitely have been on a lull with content and whatnot and uh, yeah thanks so much and have yourselves a wonderful day